<laughs> it's so satisfying. Let's talk about the Flux Raider 365, shall we? This is the latest and greatest from the boys over there at Flux Defense. They are obviously really good dudes. I really like them. Uh, I actually know them personally. I'm local to them, so I know those guys really well, and they're all good dudes. They obviously just came out with the Flux Raider 365. It is the Raider that fits in your pants. It is the Raider in your pants. It is the Panty Raider. It is completely concealable. As you can see, I'm about 5'9", 165 pounds. I'm not a large dude. I'm not wearing a baggy shirt. But as you can see, fully concealed. And I can deploy this bad boy just like that. And bang, 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 off to the races. So... Anyway, this thing's incredible. It's sick. Let's talk about it real quick, shall we? First things first, I bought this with my own money. Uh, second thing, I did get to put some rounds down range through one of their pre-production models uh, several times, actually. And so I was able to get some experience in on it before getting my own. That said, this is really early to coming out. And so... This is not like a review or a torture test or anything like that. This is just my thoughts, my initial impressions. Um, just an all-around overview of the Flux Raider 365. Let's get into it, shall we? So, this is your button to deploy your stabilizer. And as you can tell, it's a side folding stabilizer. So, it folds to the side and when it unfolds, it folds sideways which is different than the og raider the og raider shot it straight out the back that was a little bit of a learning curve for me because when i first got it i would do that and it would hit me but then it would lock in afterwards so it is a really clever design that helps it lock in that said that was a learning curve that i had to figure out in order to be able to consistently deploy it and i'll go over that in just a second However, this is obviously your button to deploy. You push it forward, and as you can see, that button locks into this notch, which is aluminum, and this is aluminum as well. I want to say aluminum. I'm just going to stick with that, aluminum. Anyway, it takes a little bit of force to deploy it, which I actually prefer because I do plan on bag carrying this, which means I don't want to ever go to grab it and have it already be floppy, have my stabilizer already be loosey-goosey. I want it to still be locked down by the button so that I can fully deploy it. So for me, I prefer the little bit of extra force uh, to be able to, the force to overcome that button. From there, you'll see that it's got this spring. This spring is what initiates the deploy and then underneath you'll see this bungee that completes the deploy of the stabilizer to chow <laughs> uh, i'm gonna do it over and over again it's just so fun to do i'm not gonna lie it's incredibly satisfying to just play with uh that said um when i first got it the spring was quite noisy including if you manually opened it like this you would hear however the boys over there at Flux included a small thing of gun butter in the box, and so I put some of that gun butter on the red spring, and the noise went away altogether. So, uh, super cool of them to include that in the box. From there, as you can see, I have a manual safety. I opted for the manual safety because, again, I'm going to bag carry this. I might conceal carry it from time to time, but for now, I'm going to bag carry it. That said... Any P365 XL or P365 fire control unit, FCU, has the capability to run a manual safety. So if you're watching this and you're like, holy crap, I already have a SIG P365. It's not a manual safety, but I want a manual safety. Don't worry about it. You can just buy one from SIG. However, since it is a SIG product, that means you're going to pay for it. It's somewhere around 50 bones, but it's really easy to install. I can do it. You can do it. So yeah, if you can install an FCU in a P365, you can install the manual safety in that FCU. Going from there, you can remove the button if you want to be super speedy quick like Ben over there at Flux Defense. He's been running one of these in competitions and he is crazy fast with it, but he runs it from appendix. So his draw is super quick. 
Um, mine's not going to be quite as quick because I do like to leave that button on there uh, because I'm going to bag carry it. From there, as you can tell, I bought a, the package deal on drop that came with the holster and the big black barrel. You can see the big black barrel extends it all the way to the end of that hood. And that hood is there so that if you want to see clamp it, you can safely do so without blasting your thumb. That said, I run a Till R7 sub on it and that actually keeps my thumb out of the way. I'll turn this way so you can see that. You can see my thumb right there off to the side. That's purely because the light bumps it down and I actually find that quite efficient to use. From there, uh, there was a little bit of a learning curve as I mentioned before. So I'm going to walk you through what my learning curve was. First things first, if I shoulder it as aggressively and in the exact same way as I do an AR, that stabilizer makes contact with my collarbone. And that is not the most comfortable thing in the world. Uh, aluminum directly against your collarbone, not, not cool, dog. That said, I'm not gonna complain about it. However, what I ended up determining works really well for me is I just treat it as if I'm doing my normal concealed carry draw and presentation. So I obviously defeat the holster, get it out to here with my other hand, push it out, eject the stabilizer, and then I suck it back in. So instead of pushing it all the way out like I would my pistol, I push it almost out, eject it, and then pull it in. That is so that I don't prematurely eject it and then have it bump against my shoulder. But as you can see, if that happens, it's not locked in yet. I move it off. This bungee pulls it into place, which is cool. That said, it obviously can get stuck in the perfect position to not lock in. And so ultimately, I decided I didn't want it making contact with me before ejecting. So I, I press it out, eject it, suck it in. It's good to go. From there, instead of holding it nice and vertical like this when I pull it out, if I press it out and bring it back on just a subtle angle, just a little bit of a cant, that somehow keeps the stabilizer off my collarbone and instead puts it just on the meat there in my shoulder and on my pec. And so that's, that's been the learning curve for me. It's really not bad, especially if you do what I did and treat it like it's a normal concealed carry draw and then suck it back in. Um, it can be quite a proficient that way, especially if you're like me and have thousands of concealed carry reps. So all that to say the Flux Raider 365 is so cool. It is an incredible innovation. In my opinion, it is one of the most innovative firearm related products in the last decade. Just my opinion, but I'm going to stand behind that and say that in my opinion, one of the most innovative products over the last decade in the firearms industry. Let's talk about a couple use cases. One, bag carry. Uh, gentlemen, if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I should buy my wife a revolver so she can carry it in her purse. Just buy this. Way cooler way more capability and with that manual safety i feel fully confident carrying that in a bag uh, because this safety is not it's not i'm not worried about it personally snagging on something in a bag and being defeated uh that's just me i also don't carry a purse so i don't know how cluttery those things get maybe your wife's is way cluttery and has a bunch of little rings and stuff that would snag on that safety but as for me, I just carried in a laptop bag. There's not really anything other than the bag itself making contact with it. So I'm not that concerned with it. From there, though, let's talk about the review that Dirty Civilian did on the Flux Raider. They did a review in which they showcased running drills with their concealed carry, their EDCs against the Flux Raider. And they ultimately determined that they were about equally as fast or maybe a little faster with their EDCs than they were with the Flux Raider. What I think they failed to point out is how cool that is because it is a brand new platform, a brand new manual of arms for them. They have countless thousands upon thousands of rounds from their EDC rigs. They obviously have thousands and thousands of rounds training with a pistol and they were able to pick up a brand new platform and in about a thousand rounds be just as proficient 
as they were with guns that they had countless rounds through, that's that's incredible. That's crazy. In my mind, that's as incredible as slapping a red dot on a pistol and handing it to a new shooter. So in my opinion, if you're going to carry something and you're not going to put 20,000 rounds through it or however many I've put through my EDC at this point in time, um, you can buy one of these. The ability to get this third point of contact stabilizes it so much that uh, you'll shoot it better, you'll shoot it faster. And so in my opinion, if you don't have time to train, but you want to be a civilized civilian, a responsible civilian, if you want to be a citizen who takes their own protection seriously, uh, this is a really good tool for that because it doesn't take thousands of rounds to get proficient with. You could get proficient and confident with this in under a thousand rounds and have all the capability that some of us spend thousands of rounds of nine millimeter to achieve. That is cool. That is really cool. So uh, I think they missed the mark on that one in their review. And I just, I have to bring that up. Anyway, all that aside, the Flux Raider 365 is super legit, super cool. You should probably buy one when they're more readily available. I'll acknowledge that as of right now, they're really hard to come by because there are only 450 of them that were released in the initial drop and that sold out in minutes. I'm super fast, and so I was able to uh, secure one in the first drop. And I was able to get it pretty quickly because I live local, and so the shipping was ridiculously fast. So based on that, it is my opinion that the Raider 365 gives me a whole ton of capability over just a standard concealed carry pistol, which is why ultimately I'm going to be double packing. I'm going to continue to carry my EDC but anytime I have a laptop bag or a diaper bag on me, I will additionally have my Raider 365, um, which for me, under stress, anytime you do anything under stress, your hands immediately start to shake. You start to get um, all the side effects of adrenaline, and that could make shooting quite a bit more challenging. And so the ability to have that additional point of contact uh, is going to work wonders for your wobble zone if you ever had a high stress situation and needed to defend yourself with the Raider 365, the Raider in your pants, aka the Panty Raider. So there you have it. Go get you one as soon as they're in stock. And I'm back. I realized that I never mentioned what it's like to actually shoot the thing. So let's talk about it real quick. I'll keep it brief. 14 minutes of chitter chatter in the first part of this and I didn't mention what it's like to actually shoot it Anyway, the first time I shot one. I remember thinking to myself. Wow, that's kind of snappy because you can feel it kind of pushing into you, right? It's a push What's really cool about it though is it did not take long to realize that even though I'm feeling it push this way It's not pushing this way. It's pushing straight back not up and down and so I paid a lot more attention, got on it, and started dumping and realized I can track the dot the entire time. I never lose sight of the dot. I'm able to keep sight on the dot and just let it rip, and it just tracks forward and back, not up and down. It's incredible. I honestly, I kind of think that I'm able to track the dot better with the Raider 365 than I am with the OG Raider that... Uh, has been so prevalent already. So anyway, here's some super random footage of me at my very first range session with my very own Raider 365. This is, again, the very first range session with it. And so I am very impressed with the fact that my first time getting it to the range, I'm able to shoot it as quickly and proficiently as I am, while at the same time being able to conceal carry it. Super cool. Shooting this with my non-dominant hand. Dude, so. <laughs> Dude, that thing looks so tiny like we all choked up on it. All right, is the shooter ready? Yep. Does the shooter understand whatever course of fire he just made up in his head? Yep. Beep! Oh, boy. Dude, 